Hello, ICC family and friends. This is Jeff Cook. And John DeLong. Most people know us as Daryl and my other brother, Daryl, with your ICC Midday Connection. We'd like to talk to you today about joy. In our current times, there only seems to be a sense of gloom and doom. Granted, the coronavirus is a serious matter to deal with right now, but we also need joy in our lives. As anyone who knows us would likely agree that we like to cut up and have fun. We enjoy making people laugh. Webster defines joy as a feeling of great happiness or successes in doing, finding or getting something. In a spiritual sense, we seek joy in the people who God created, our family, friends, and perhaps co-workers and kind strangers, as well as the things he created, a beautiful sunset in which there are none more beautiful than right here in the Keys. The perfect rose, a majestic mountain range, or the color of leaves in autumn. Although suffering and sadness are a part of human condition, God wants us to be joyful and find happiness. The Bible has much to say about joy and laughter. The following verses should serve as inspiration to seek more joy and laughter in our life. James 1, 2. Consider it all joy, my brothers, when you encounter various trials, for you know that testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance be perfect, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. This verse can serve as a food for thought when encountering suffering and trials. It's often difficult to find joy in challenging situations, but God makes life difficult occasionally so we will seek him and grow in faith and virtue. A good analogy is how a shot of medicine can make a person feel better. The shot hurts, but ultimately heals. In the same way, suffering and grief can eventually produce a type of healing. In difficult times, pray for guidance in finding joy. John 16, 24. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name ask and you will receive so that your joy may be complete these words from jesus himself are so inspiring all we need to do is ask and he will and we will receive so much joy as christians we often get caught up in praying for others and forget to pray for ourselves or if we do pray for ourselves we rarely ask for joy there's nothing selfish about asking god in jesus name to send more joy into our lives joy is infectious if we are more joyful then it is likely that our joy will spread to others psalms 118 24 this is the day the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it each and every day brings new opportunities and a chance for a fresh start we can put yesterday's trials and troubles aside and begin again. Resolve to find joy and laughter somewhere in your day today. And furthermore, to bring laughter and joy to another person you may encounter. Pray to the Holy Spirit for guidance and assistance and be open to opportunities for laughter and joy. Remember that each day is a gift from God. Look forward to a wonderful day ahead and not backwards to the mistakes and problems of yesterday. John, will you close us in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many blessings and just the way you take care of us daily. We ask that for those that are seeing this and, and hearing this, that you will just touch their hearts and help them to seek and find the joy that you want us to have. Again, we thank you for taking care of us. We lift up this community and all those around us through this difficult time. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.